Welcome into this segment of Behind the Pen presented by MostValuablePodcast.com. If you want to listen to the full podcast, go to blogtalkradio.com backslash Podcast. Also, we're on iTunes, so check us out there as well. Thank you all for listening as always, and enjoy the show. So Derek Rose packs his things together, gets up, and decides to disappear for a while. Hmm, very interesting. What's up, guys? Thanks for checking in on this segment of Behind the Pen. My name's Mike Rankin. We're on YouTube. What's up, Knicks fans? What's up, basketball fans? I'm talking to you. Boy, this is a weird story, huh? You could drop a like down below. It really help out the channel, mostvaluablepodcast.com. It's got much more content, I'm sure. The boys over at the Fast Break Podcast are going to touch on this subject because what? What? What is happening with the New York Knicks right now? I mean, not to mention they're in a weak Eastern Conference and they're struggling. Right, and it's it's been obvious even since they were fourteen and ten to start the season. There's been some dysfunction among that roster, but I'll talk about that a little bit. But I want to focus in on this Derrick Rose news because what he decides to go to shoot around on January 9th. This is the second day, by the way. This is the fallout day after uh, January 10th is when I'm recording this. Happened the night of the national championship. By the way, what a game! January 9th, Adrian Wojnarowski drops this bomb, Woj bomb. He says, sources, there are team officials, teammates, and close associates unclear of reason for Derrick Rose's absence for Knicks Pelicans at Madison Square Garden. So they had a game, and Derrick Rose wasn't there, and the Knicks had no idea where he went. Nobody did until after the game, and we had players like Joakim Noah saying, yeah, he's fine. Okay, where did he go? What happened? As the story progressed, there was, um, I mean, close, even close people to Derrick Rose were saying one source mentioned that Derrick is sick, in quotations, and went on to say nothing else. Okay, oh, that's fine. Did you, what did you, did you just leave? Because the Knicks had no idea what was happening, and this was like, where's Derrick? Where did he go? For hours. And if, if say now, it ultimately ended up being that Rose went home to Chicago, and it was a family thing. He wanted to see his mother. Okay, now, I totally, absolutely, 100 respect the player's privacy, anybody's privacy, if they have to go and deal with a personal matter such as serious as health. Obviously, that's priority number one. Family and then everything else falls underneath. However, the matter in which he went about it makes absolutely no sense. But am I surprised? Absolutely not, because it's Derrick Rose. So he picks up and leaves the night they have a game. And this comes on the heel of after Coach Hornacek benches Rose. And Rose is obviously not happy when they lost to the Bucks a few nights before. Now the Knicks aren't doing too well. And Derrick Rose is obviously not the same player as he was in his MVP season before he blew out his knees twice. That's obvious. I didn't even have to say that, but I will anyway. But the Knicks are beginning to be a laughing stock, and this story doesn't help them in the slightest. Now, first of all, while this was happening, where the hell was Phil Jackson? And where has Phil Jackson been in the construction of the New York Knicks since he took over? I mean, I, if I'm a Knicks fan, I'm pissed at Phil Jackson in this situation, leaving it to Hornacek to try and settle this and try and talk to the press and figure things out because obviously Hornacek and Rose are on shaky ground, right? Rose wants to play late in the game. He was even benched early in the season. Uh, I believe it was like ne- November 30th. He was benched in a late in a close game against the Timberwolves. And I know that was early in the season. One example, he's not going to be in the game every night, but when you're a star player like Derrick Rose thinks he is, He's going to want on the court when games matter, especially in the waning moments. So there's some friction there. And Phil Jackson's leaving Hornacek to take care of this situation. Now, let me go back to the way everything went down with Derrick Rose. Now, I'm going to kind of go through it. See, now, when it was happening, I understood that this could be a, a personal family issue. Now, all things being said with the whole way he's been playing this year and the way Rose has been treated by his coach or the way he believes he's been treated by the coach, possibly unfairly, I'm not in his brain. I ho- I'm so glad that I'm, I don't have Derrick Rose's brain. I, don't, I still don't understand 
why he wouldn't go through the process of letting the franchise know that he has to go see his sick mother or sick family member and take care of that. Because the Knicks would have published it immediately. They would have sent out a release saying, Derek Rose, not available tonight, personal family matter, whatever. Whatever. And that's fine. That's how you handle your business. You don't just say, I'm gone, get your stuff, and leave, come back to Chicago. What is, what is going on with the New York Knicks? I have no idea. And I, you know, I want them to be good. But you got guys like Derrick Rose who said, even prior to the start of last season with the Bulls, was looking forward to this upcoming offseason because he's ready to sign that mega deal as a free agent stud star basketball player. However, we know he's not that anymore. I mean, he's not really back. He's, he's putting together somewhat decent performances at times. However, the Knicks aren't winning consistently. Now they're down like 11th in the East in a bad Eastern Conference. The Knicks should not be a laughing stock of the league. This is a problem. Now, like I said, I'm very critical on the way Phil Jackson didn't handle the situation in which he was in a position to do something or say something. But he's nowhere to be found. And neither was Derrick Rose for like a day. He came back today, the 10th, for shoot-around. And apparently he's, he's okay to play and he's, he only was fine. He wasn't suspended by the Knicks, which is also kind of laughable. The guy picks up and leaves whenever he wants. Get the hell. What, what does that say to the rest of the teammates? He's not getting suspended? The league doesn't have to do anything, but it's on the Knicks to say, listen, you can't do that. We're going to punish you for a game and we'll be done with it. But it's so unorthodox. Really, Derrick Rose, you're just going to pick up and leave now? Like I said, I respect the idea that it was for a family member who's sick. However, I have a suspicion that it was just kind of Rose getting fed up with the system, getting fed up with how things were going for a while and just needed a mental break because we all know he, ne- he needs to take breaks with, from his body sometimes because he wants to walk uh, you know, for his son's graduation in 10, 15 years, whatever. And he just picks up and leaves because he was just tired. And you you don't do that. You don't do that. I don't know. This is all suspicion. You know, this is me just assuming because I don't know the full extent. This is still a fresh sort of story, but I had to comment on it because it's the Knicks. It's the it's a former Bull. Obviously, I'm a big Bulls fan. Derrick Rose. What else is new? I mean, this guy lives in his own world and nothing's changed and nothing will change. So am I surprised? No, because it's Derrick Rose. But that's not how you do it, man. However, we see the type of player he We know who he is. He is a dominant point guard with the ball. Creates his own shot off the dribble. I mean, he's not really a good jump shooter, but he shows spurts of the explosion that we are used to see. We were used to seeing in Chicago. But that was that's it. They're just sporadic bursts. Now, as a point guard in the Knicks, obviously. You want to move the ball to guys like Porzingis. I mean, Joakim Noah has been... Ugh. I mean, Knicks fans, you tell me how you like Joakim Noah so far because I'm not... Ugh. I mean, he's shooting 50%. You know, he's giving you like five points and almost nine boards a game. So, I mean, okay. But ugh. that 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 move doesn't look too too good. And then they signed him to that, long, that, that big contract. And then you have Carmelo Anthony who has all the skill that you need to be a top 10 player in the NBA. Arguably top five, maybe he's not there anymore. However, he's obviously got the skill to score at will. And he just never really stepped into that role as the guy who would take a Knicks franchise regardless of the talent around him and win. Now, obviously, the Knicks haven't been good for too long. For the Knicks to be not good in the NBA, it hurts the NBA, obviously. Major media market. And primetime games at Madison Square Garden, it's a destination. But the Knicks are irrelevant. 17 and 21 in the East, and they don't look to be getting any better. I mean, they have Porzingis, so that's a win. But boy, this Derrick Rose stuff, huh? Gives me headaches, and I'm not even following Derrick Rose anymore. He's out of my life. I'm so glad the Bulls got rid of him, and he's somebody else's problem. Unfortunately, for you Knicks fans, you got to live with it. And we'll see. What happens for the rest of the season? And that's all we can say is we'll see. One of my favorite phrases here on Behind the Pen. 
But I'm interested to see how Rose finishes out this season. I mean, it's getting into the depth of this 82-game year, and boy, he, he wants a big contract, so good luck. Good luck to you and the Knicks. I, I, I feel sorry for you fans. What the hell is going on in New York, guys? You tell me. Thank you guys for sticking around for this segment of Behind the Pen. If you want more Most Available Podcast content, click on the video up above because I don't know why you wouldn't want to keep listening to our voices every day. But again, guys, thank you all for listening. We really do appreciate you.